Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, I am so excited. This is going to be a two-part video because I have so much going on this week. I'm sure all you guys do as well. I'm going to show you guys how to make the base of this DIY. And then I'm going to also have a tiered tray video coming out in a few days where I just show you guys how to decorate a tiered tray. I know that I have a hard time decorating tiered trays, so I thought that it would be really fun to show you guys how I do it so that maybe it could help some of you. And then next Monday, I'm going to have all of the trinkets inside of this DIY come out next Monday. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, you guys, I don't know what happened. I like blew up overnight. It's all things crafty too, but I do do a lot more um, like quick DIYs over there and a lot more in real time. So definitely go over there, follow me as well as on Instagram. Um, what am I? I don't know what I'm forgetting. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving if I don't see or talk to you until then. Chocotour is also having a huge, huge, huge Black Friday sale. Check the link in the description box. I'm going to leave the Black Friday links down below. And with all that being said, let's jump into today's Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. So let's jump into today's DIYs. Okay, friends, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button and then the bell and all. That way you're notified every single time I upload, especially when the part two of this uh, DIY comes out. So I am playing around here with a few different camera angles. So you guys are going to see throughout this video, it's a little bit different because I'm trying something new, you know, um, I'm always looking of ways to improve my content for you guys, so just keep that in mind. I did just want to mention that. So I start off with 10 of these Dollar Tree crates, the same exact crates that I used in my original crate DIY that sparked this whole trend, interest, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, I start with the boxes by taking the stickers off of the back, and then with my wood glue, I glue one row of four, one row of three, one row of two, and then obviously there's one at the top. Once those rows were dry, then I go in with my wood glue once again, and I glue all of the layers together, having my measuring tape handy so that way I can make sure that these are nice and center. Um, on certain things, I'm really OCD, and if I glued this together and it was not even, I probably would have made another one or ripped it apart or something. So to avoid all that, I just measure twice and then glue once. So to achieve this stained look, I used my Moss Waverly chalk paint and a little bit of water with my Badger little paint mixer in a little Dixie cup. And then I take my bigger brush that I get on Amazon. My Amazon link is in the description box in my link tree, as well as all of my links. Um, but I just take my bigger brush and I stain the entire thing front and back. Now on TikTok, I had a question of why I um, didn't stain the boxes before I put them together. And that's because that's a lot more work. You have to stain a lot more sides or paint whatever than you would when it's all put together. Um, I also just recently got this turn tape this turntable that you guys, I love it so much. It made this painting process so easy because I would just turn the table. I just love it. If if you guys want me to show you how to make a turntable with a fidget spinner, let me know in the comments down below. To speed the drying process, I use my old blow dryer that I have out in my craft room to dry this up. That way we can move on to the next step. Now to close up like the holes in the tops and the bottom of these crates, you can use popsicle sticks, stir sticks, uh, really whatever you like, but I literally found the easiest thing to do because you're not going to really put anything really that heavy in these. So to use something like I'm about to show you is perfect for this. So I take these wallpapers from Dollar Tree. I found them in the automotive section. Actually, my best friend Heather found them for me. Thanks, Heather. Um, 
and I just wanted to show you guys that there's different patterns so you can use whatever you like and what you prefer but I felt that with the Christmas decor and with the color that the um Pa the wallpaper that I chose went best with my color palette. So I just measured the inside bottom and top of these little crates and then I measured them out and cut them down with my Cricut paper cutter and then for the sides I also individually measure those out cut those down and then these are so super easy just to peel the backing off and stick down that's what I love about this there's no like saws involved or you know sis you know heavy scissors trying to cut a zillion popsicle sticks and so again you can do whatever you like but for me personally this is what I chose and I absolutely love the way that it looks and the way that it turned out so I'm definitely glad that I went with this option and to just even these up because when you cut these down you're not going to get them perfectly even as you guys know the Dollar Tree crates are not all treated equally so there are different shapes and sizes it's weird but I did just go in with my zip sander and just sand down all those edges smooth so that all of my edges look the same. For the front of this, I take all of my scraps, and this is why I tell you guys never throw away your scraps because I use my scraps all the time. So for the fronts of these, I take my scraps of my stir sticks and I just measure those out and then cut those down with my seven and a quarter inch miter saw. I do get questions about that, but um, my camera is like on a tripod and I always forget to like bring the camera over where my saw is so um, I do use a miter saw but you can use a hand miter saw for these they cut very easily I'm just lazy and I like the easiest way possible so once I had those all cut down then I go in with my antique wax and I stain those front pieces and here is my little baby. Look how cute she is, you guys. She loves like playing with my brushes and stuff and it was time to take her in for a bit. So it was time to clean up and I thought that I would share that cute little clip with you guys. But to attach these to the front of our little faux tree, I just used some woodworking hot glue to attach those. And I did just wanna show you guys these cool angles. Um, the left angle is for TikTok, the right angle is for YouTube, but so if you're wondering, that's why. But anyway, once I had those front pieces glued down, then I go in with my label holders that I get in a big pack from Amazon. You guys are super cheap. I'll leave the link in my link tree in the description box. Um, and then once I had all of those screwed down to the center of each box, then that was it for this uh, part you guys I did share on my TikTok all the little trinkets inside I did not share me DIYing each of those so um, you guys will probably see it first definitely stick around for that actually matter of fact leave in the comments if you guys would like to see the trinkets inside before I show you the tear tray video I think I'm actually going to do that first for you guys just so that way you're not waiting but I like I said I have a lot going on so thank you so so much for your patience we have parent teacher conferences and thanksgiving and the kids are off of school and it's total chaos and i just love you guys so so much thank you for all the love all the support don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well those thumbs up and those share really help my channel to grow and help youtube to notice me just a bit more also if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for you might as well click that red subscribe button tap that bell and all that way you're notified every single time i upload especially when i upload the next part of this DIY. So thank you guys so much for being here. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and gorgeous. I am so, so grateful for each and every one of you. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one and you guys will see videos popping up here until my next upload. Bye!